Hello there, this is Diane from Design Creative and we're now in lesson two of uh, designing our website from Headaway in Fireworks. Um, and you can use this tutorial as well if you are using GIMP or Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm pretty sure they have the same tools in there. So let's get started. All right, first of all, we need to go into the slice tool by pressing K on the keyboard. I'm not. Uh, I was just about to say I'm not quite sure what it is on a Mac, but <laughs> I'm sure it's K on a Mac too. Um, and I'm just going to select this section for my background. I'm not going to select all of it because when, for instance, the bit where it has all the content, if you scroll down a bit, the bit where it has the content, say if I wanted to add some more extra features to that, I want the white to sort of be scrollable. Um, so then, you know, the more I'll add, I won't have to worry about running out of space or anything. So I'm now going to save this slice as a GIF. I'm not going to really go into exactly how to optimize things. It is like near enough very easy. But if you do want more control, you, on the right hand panel there is an optimize tab. And you can just sort of use that to further optimize your um, your slices. I'm just going to use this as a GIF um, and I'm going to export it and save it in my assets folder. Uh, as background or BG. Um, I think now I'm going to do the footer. Okay, so with this again, I'm going to use a slice tool and I'm just going to select, select a selection of it. <clears throat> A small selection of it sorry and obviously the reason why we're going to do this is we're going to tile this image so we're going to tile it horizontally so we don't have to have a massive um, gif or jpeg as an image you can we can even have that smaller than what it is but just so then you can see There's like a white shadow on the top there, that's why I've had to make sure I get completely over it. So I'm now going to do the um, the rest of uh, the slices. I'm going to get rid of the background so then there's more transparency um, and I can export all of these as pings. So I'm going to export my logo. Uh, you can right click as well and press insert rectangular slice which is here and that's like a shortcut way of inserting your slices instead of having to draw it in and I'm gonna change that to a ping there you two you can use a ping 24 as well really I should have used a ping 24 but it's too late now it's pre-recorded <laughs> I'm just recording my vocals over it. Um, okay, so this image here, originally I would save that as a JPEG because of how much detail there is. But I'm going to save this as a PNG because I need it um, transparent on the background that, that we're going to be using. So again, in separate tangler size so because there's like two different slices there it's going to ask whether I want to do it multiple or single. I'm going to export that and call it slider one. Not very creative but uh, you would probably want to use a more creative name for all of your images um, especially if you're doing SEO, SEO on, your, uh, on your website. Now on the right hand side here you're going to see, well you can't really see that much, um, but I've got, uh, I have text there that I'm going to be putting on the slider and it's going to slide into the slider if that makes any sense. It's not going to be static, it's going to be moving. So sorry that's my boy in the background um, 
me move this out of the way. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be... I, you don't really have to do this um, as an image. On the slider that I've got, it allows you to insert HTML, but um, I'm just going to use images for now. Um, uh, just to let you guys know as well that this is a pre-recorded um, tutorial, so I did the video first and then I am recording the, vo for the vocals after. Um, so there were a few things that I noticed in this tutorial that I did by mistake, so I'm going to let you know straight away what I did, but at the moment I'm just going to change the size of the button on here. As you can see on the right hand side the button is a bit quiffed but never mind if it was um, a straight button without any rounded corners and I would have probably saved this as a GIF um, but as it is now I'm going to save it as a PNG because it's got rounded corners and those rounded corners I want to be transparent so export that as a button Okay, and this is the section where I sort of messed up. Um, I saved this as a PNG. I've got PNG happy apparently, and so I save and everything as a PNG when things that need to be saved as a PNG. So um, this should have really been saved as a JPEG or a GIF, um, simply because this whole area, this section here where it's got the content, is white. So I don't need it to be transparent. Um, but fortunately I just got carried away <laughs> as you do um, the good thing about that though is is I can always go back and change that into a JPEG or a GIF um, and the same here in the footer I saved this as a PNG when I really didn't have to because the footer is a complete flat colour there's no texture on there there's no noise on there there's nothing on there so I could have gotten away with just saving that as a JPEG or, or, or a GIF um, or a GIF I don't know how you guys call it but whatever it doesn't matter um, I did however save these icons in the right <laughs> in the right um, format as a GIF um, do, 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 do. yeah so just be mindful of that of what is the best format for me to be saving this is this a JPEG is this a GIF is this a PNG do I need it to be like this could I get away with it being a JPEG um, there's also another option for you to like at the moment as you see I'm saving everything as individual slices um, and there's about 14 of them but there is an actual option where you can save everything in a sprite and um, maybe I'll do another tutorial on how that happens but it further helps optimize everything because when somebody goes to your website and um, the server has to call for all these individual images whereas if you save it in a sprite it only calls for one image and that would hold all of the information or hold all of your images in there which will in turn speed up the um, speed up your website so now we've got all our images saved, we've got all our sizes saved um, we're now going to go into my favourite part which is Headway um, we're going to start from a fresh installation of Headway so I'll see you on the other side <laughs> 